The video you're about to watch is part of History Bombs Classroom. Find out more at historybombs.com. But hey, you didn't hear that from me. Started kicking off towards the end of the Second World War, the United States' top secret Manhattan Project developed atomic bombs, dropped them on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and set in motion a chain of dangerous nuclear proliferation that brought the world to the brink of extinction. Like, what were they thinking? Ow! Now, boys, we gotta keep a hold of these plans. Don't want to get them into Soviet hands. <gasps> No, no Klaus! <laughs> Full house. See, the Soviets had spies like Klaus Fuchs in the Manhattan Project. Sure enough, it wasn't long before the Russians joined the nuclear party. Kaboom! Oh look, we built a rocket, see? Kiss goodbye to your nuclear monopoly. Don't act bad. Don't make us mad. M.A.D. Mutually Assured Destruction. From 1949, both sides had the means to destroy each other. Meaning, theoretically, any leader would be out of his goddamn mind to hit the red button. Nevertheless, the superpowers were testing ever more gargantuan warheads, and atomic bombs were about to make way for a new terrifying destructive power. Here we go again! Prepare the hydrogen! Operation Ivy detonated. 10.4 megatons! Pretty good, but we can do more. Time to settle this score. Castle Bravo detonated. 14.8 megatons! Hey, take cover, it's Kuzma's mother! Star Bomber released! 50 megatons! Holy! So, by 1961, both sides had demonstrated their nuclear might. The Tsar Bomber was the largest detonation in human history! In 1962, tensions came to a head on the island of Cuba. You gotta see this, Mr. President. Our planes have obtained some hard evidence. The Russians are rushing across the Atlantic with missiles for Cuba. For Cuba? It's frantic. The antics of the USSR have gone too goddamn far. The response must be critical. Re-election, not political. Hey, don't be a fool. Gotta keep it political. Don't you wanna teach them a lesson? Yes, but not with open aggression. With a naval blockade off the Cuban shore. A naval blockade is an act of war. Okay, keep it clean. Call it a quarantine. What's this? Are you serious? <laughs> Jeff K must be delirious. Nikita Khrushchev, read my lips. Turn around your missile ships. We won't be intimidated. This is quickly escalated. The eyes of the world are fixated on this. We're staring into an atomic abyss. This beautiful patch of Caribbean shore could mark the beginning of nuclear war. Our leaders have taken us to the brink. Now will humanity swim or sink? Okay, okay, we, we agree. agree. The Russians go back across the sea. A great day for the US of A and a moral victory. Hooray! You think the steel looks murky? Well, the US had missiles in Turkey. In exchange, they took them away. We find another day. The missile crisis brought the world to the brink. In the 60s, the focus switched to the space race, and the 70s saw a period of nuclear de-escalation known as... Cool. Detente. Cool. Detente. Truth be told, the threat of nuclear warfare has never gone away. So what do you make of all this? Hello comrade, did you enjoy this video? Then go to historybombs.com for more explosive educational content. And subscribe! And do not forget to hit the subscribe button below. Dosvidaniya!